If beatboxing existed in the dark ages, I'm sure many of us would have found ourselves tied to a fiery pyre to be burnt alive alongside our godless peers. You see, for the uninitiated, the act of conjuring up otherworldly sounds from the dangly depths of our throat seems like the audible equivalent of witchcraft. <laughs> However, many practitioners of this sonic sorcery, like myself, know that buried below the smoke and mirrors of the microphone is a world of techniques and uncanny precision that allows us to exist as the freaks we are today. So, in this series, with the help of a crack team of specialists, I would like to peel back the layers of my face and welcome you inside the mouth, the mind, and the <laughs> mechanics of the beatboxer. A question that I get asked a lot is how the are you making those noises? I decided to find out. So we paid a visit to a man with an impressive amount of letters after his name who happens to know the back of your throat like the back of his hand. Welcome to my larynx, Dr. Broadhurst. All right, so there's two cameras that I use. Uh, the first is a flexible one, and that's five millimeters in diameter. That'll go through the nose, past the tonsils, down to the larynx. Right and through that on a large monitor we'll be able to see all the movements, the actions, the activities of what goes on, mm -hmm. not just in the larynx but up in the base of the mouth, base of the tongue and see how all that creates different sound. And in the second part of it, it's a rigid camera, uh, it's about this long and it'll go through the mouth and it's a little like sword swallowing, mm -hmm. it'll go down but it's got a much higher resolution camera tip in it. Right. So that'll give a much clearer picture of what tissue is vibrating to make the sound that it does. All right, cool. Well, maybe we should start by putting some things in my face. Sounds good. Warning, this video contains very graphic images from the depths of my throat. Stop eating now. You may vomit. <laughs> yes, yeah, delicious. Okay, so you poke your tongue in straight out of me. Good. Just breathe through the mouth. Just try to say e. Uh... So the vocal cords look good, nothing weird or abnormal or unusual. This is the flexible one. Now the only thing we don't know is how much having a camera in the nose is going to interfere with it. You, you'll find out. Yeah. Uh, this is the other little microphone. Mm -hmm. We need that sort of near you. Okay, so let's look up the nose. There's a lot of space up there. Yeah. Which I'm sure you can feel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is the back of the, what's called the nasopharynx. Wow. And what you see coming up there, just go, ka, 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 ka. <laughs> I'm judging by everybody's reactions right now. It's looking pretty <laughs> weird. So that's the soft palate closing up against the nasopharynx. So you can imagine if you have a cleft palate mm -hmm. or problems back there that you wouldn't be able to close and make all that sound. Yeah. So now we see the larynx and this is the bit where it might be difficult for you. And now what we're going to do is just watch and see what happens. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. You just have a swallow for me there. It's certainly in there, isn't it? Yeah.
it in there. <laughs> so, I'll give you a break there for a moment. Oh. Most of what I can see from where the camera tip is placed mm -hmm. is it's sitting right at the top of the soft palate. So you can imagine the tongue sitting here. Mm -hmm. The sound that you use to generate a lot of it yep. is, is all the movements of the tongue. <laughs> Whether it's flat forward, it's lifted up, it's pushed back, it's flattened out across the back. There's a, a huge range of shapes, mm -hmm. which is what creates all those sounds. When you look further down, you can see the larynx complex either squeezing like crazy for specific sounds or pulling right up towards the back of the nose. And then you'll see other tissues around vibrate, which are also making sound. Uh... Cool. Well, should we should, should we have a look at some of yeah. the footage? Yeah, let's do it. Today, I gained some valuable insight into the contents of my throat and almost the contents of my stomach. But all jokes aside, my journey deep into the laryngeal abyss was certainly eye-opening. In two generous hours under Dr. Broadhurst's endoscope, I found out more about the complexities of my throat and its noise-producing mechanisms than I could have ever hoped to achieve with self-exploration and 15 years of a questionable career choice. So thank you for simultaneously opening my mouth and my mind to what's behind my world of weird noises. Catch you all in the next invasive episode of Live from the Larynx. Oh, <laughs> oh,